Hey there YouTube, I moved my rainwater collection system and I increased its capacity by three barrels. It's uh, seven barrels obviously at 55 gallons, so there's 385 gallons and 3,000 pounds of water. Um, I moved it to the back of the house because you can't have them by the uh, foundations in Portland, Oregon. And especially this heavy, it's uh, too much water. But I have a downspout here off the house and comes into the top of this barrel I have my tap down here just turn it for water and I just have it stabilized in the ground there so it has minimal wobble but you can see on the back I, um, the barrels have a hole at the top and bottom I just linked all the ones at the bottom and all the ones at the top together And then from the first stack to the second stack, I connected them with this pipe here. And as you can see, the bottom of the top barrels are all linked together. And I only connected the top two over there um, so that they could vent air out as they're filling up um, out the far end of that tube sticking out. Um, this one vents air out of this right here where it comes in because it's not airtight it's watertight from here to here but air can still come in and out there um, the bottom barrels um, I tapped a little hole here and put a pipe thread in so that I can actually um, vent so as water's filling up into the bottom barrels air comes up this line and comes out on top um, I had to vent them all the way up here so that uh, water doesn't just spill out so that the top barrels can fill up. The base is made out of an old um, entryway to the back of a house. It was like the porch staircase. It's pressure treated wood, it's just reclaimed. That's why it looks kind of funny. I'm hoping it could hold a bucking rhino. This is 3,000 pounds of water, so I think it'll hold. And as you can see, so there's the downspout, comes down, fills up the top barrels. The top barrels fill up to this bottom line, and then it fills up the bottom barrels. The bottom barrels fill up, and the air vents out of the bottom barrels through these tubes, as I was saying. And then the water just backs up all the pipes, and it'll fill up to the top line. Um, I raised this up here higher than the top of the barrel in hopes that the top barrels will fill up all the way, not just to this top line. Um, and this right here is a little bit lower than the intake over there so that the water won't spill out the intake. This is the overflow. I'm just going to connect a tube onto here and send it over here, the small pitch, to this drainage pond that we set up in our backyard. And we're gonna divert the water down here in the winter time. I live in Portland, Oregon, and it rains all winter, but there's no rain in the summertime. And we have all kinds of flower beds and whatnot in the backyard and uh, garden beds in the front. So we need a lot of water um, to hold us to the drought of the summer. So this will help us do that. If anyone has any questions about rain barrels, just uh, give me a message and I can help you out or give you some advice.